Okay, are we ready to go live here? I guess we are live. Sid Vanderpool here at Sid Fit, getting you ready for a foot work and leg conditioning workout. I'm gonna take you through some basics of footwork, how to improve it, different skills, different techniques. Also, of course, I'm gonna review proper, proper stance and movement. Again, this is going to start in probably like two minutes, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit while everyone arrives. The reason I have the stick is because we are gonna need to use a broomstick, or if you have a line on the floor, whatever, but just something to mark uh, the floor so you know how far to step over. All right, so a broomstick, broom handle works just fine, or you can use a skipping rope, um, any kind of straight line works just fine. All right. Can you agree? Now, we'll jump in box if I said, or no? Sorry, too many people are live right now. Yeah. Seriously? Are we ready? We're going to make sure you have your water. Be ready to work. So, I'm doing this as well, so it's going to be hard for me. Uh, first 20, 25 minutes, boxing, work on full work. Second half, we are going to do a hit training circuit with dynamite. All right, so she's over on the other side, way over there, keeping her distance, and she's going to do the hit circuit. For those of you who train with her on a Saturday, you kind of know what to expect. It's going to be intense, but uh, she'll encourage you and keep you going all the way through, as will I. I'm just going to hit my uh, my little refresh over here so I can see who's, who's joining us and maybe even talk to you a little bit. Oh, look at that. And those of you driving, uh, joining us on Instagram, thank you. No Instagram. No Instagram. Instagram, no Instagram. Instagram is too busy. Instagram is too busy. All right, so we're just Facebook living it. Hey, I can see myself over there. I'm, I'm on delay, big time. Cool. Hello, Melanie. PhD, gotcha. Choa, the man, Roy's on. All right, Roy, I hope you're working out with me, okay? Don't make me do this alone. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna get warmed up, warm up our legs and our hips, uh, some upper body stuff as well. Just so we're nice and mobile, get the blood flowing, all right? So we're gonna do this with jumping jacks. Got my timer here, I'm gonna get this going. All right, so jumping jacks. All right, just a regular jumping jack, out and in, good range of motion with the arms. Now, of course, we're not just gonna do this, okay? We gotta make it a little more challenging. We're gonna crisscross our feet in front and behind. Core stays engaged, chest nice and high. Nice, big, high arms, all the way to the top, all the way down. Control your breathing. A big part of boxing is being able to in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, now we're just gonna do some hip swings or some leg swings to open up our hips. So we can hold on to something, but I'm not gonna leave the, uh, leave the screen. So let's do it like this. All right, so as best as possible, let's stand nice and tall. I'm gonna go with my right leg. I'm just gonna swing it back and forth. Okay, I'm not gonna swing it too hard. It's not holding on to anything, but if I was holding on to something, I could swing it a little bit harder, get a little higher. Five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Jumping jacks again. This time, let's go with our feet. We're gonna crisscross. We're gonna make arm circles in front. So again. Working on some coordination, because as we begin our boxing, we want to be able to coordinate our hands and our feet working together. So this is a good way to engage the mind. Get it going right away. Switch direction with the arms. Good. 
Nice big circles. Chest is open. Breathe. Ah, feels good to be alive. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now, hips, uh, leg swings, we're gonna go sideways. Just again, if you're holding on to something, you hold on to it, just come across your body. All right, up. Try that the hips swing freely through. Okay. Get other side. Working on that range of motion and mobility, warming things up. And a. All right, and last one here, Polish shadow boxing. So this is really bringing it all together. The legs, the arms, chest nice and high, and knees up, straight punches. All the way up, all the way back. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's punch up. Out in front. Out to the side. That's it. Control that breathing. Back out in front. Let's punch down, but increase the foot speed. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. You should feel nice and warmed up right about now, nice and loose. If you need a drink, you can grab a quick, quick drink. We're gonna quickly review our boxing stance. So what we're gonna do is one foot in front of the other, front foot facing forward, back foot, staggered, so we're not gonna have in line, out staggered, 45 degree angle, balls of our feet, knees bent, not hunching over, all right? We're gonna sit down. Sit down into those hips, hands come up, all right? Good solid position. So this is like a ready stance, like in many different sports. Basketball, uh, wrestling, where you've gotta be able to agile, yet strong, okay? So same thing here in our boxing stance. Balls of our feet, don't wanna be flat footed on our heels, balls of our feet. Okay, so we're just gonna practice moving forward and backwards now. One, two, one, two. So, the reason why I said this is great for all levels is because boxing is really simple, actually. All it is is just a sequence of either going sideways, forward, or back. And the efficiency and the rate at which you do that. All right, so if I'm gonna move quickly, all that is simply just step, 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 step. Just do a little quicker, a little more flash, but that's all it is, all right? So we're slowing it down, get these basics, match the basics at a slow speed, and then pick it up, all right? So, we did side to side. Notice the spacing of my feet stays the same. Forward, same. Weight is center, balance. Hands are up. All right, so now let's take those basic movements we're gonna add it in. We're gonna grab our broomstick, put it down. All right, I'm just gonna reset my timer. Okay, so going over top of the broomstick in our stance, we start our stance. We're gonna go over, both feet land, over, both feet land. Balls of our feet. All right, let's go. We're gonna go for another 45 seconds. So this is it, just a lateral side step. Step, 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 step. Good, weight is centered. Pushing off with the balls of your feet or your big toes. Landing in your stance, solid, solid, solid. Ready to punch, ready to defend. Now, if we were defending a punch while we're stepping, the punch is coming at our head. We're gonna move our head and step at the same time to keep us on balance. So it looks like this. Here, here, here. The side bed, a side bed or a crunch and step. Step, step, step. All right, that's our first minute. 
Second minute. We're gonna do it here. Is we're gonna go, we're gonna lateral side step. Wrong balance, now we're gonna attack. Forward and then back. All right, then we come back over here. Step, forward, back, okay? So let's practice that. Lateral side step, explode forward, weight centered, explode back, good balance, over. Again, I'm gonna switch my stance for you. You don't have to switch your stance, but if you want to, for this time, I'll let you do it. You can switch your stance. Same thing, step over, forward, back, over. All right, during these times, you've got lots of time to practice. So master your footwork. Champions are built from the ground up. This is your opportunity to get better. Okay, nice work. Last one here with the footwork um, in our steps is we're gonna add the punches. So again, if your feet are doing the right thing, your hands can follow along. But you can do the wrong thing, or the right thing with your hands, and the wrong thing with your feet. End up a lot of uh, bad situations. All right, so now, we're stepping over. One, two, step back, over. One, two, step back, step over. If you find like you don't have the power in your punches, then take out the punches, and just do the footwork, all right? The punches should, should seem solid, just like you were when you were stepping before. Again, the punches are in addition to what you're doing with your footwork. All right, so I'm over, step in, step back, over. A little more technical, make sure that when you're punching, shoulder to chin, shoulder to chin. Other hand comes back up. As I pull my punch back, I step back so I don't get counter punched. I step over, shoulder, chin, shoulder, back, over. One, two, step back, step over. Seems like very basic stuff, but in the heat of the moment, the things that seem basic, people forget, and they make mistakes. And to make those mistakes, that's when your opponent capitalizes. So now, you have an opportunity again to reiterate, practice, um, get lots of repetitions in with these basics, all right? So those are some basic things you can do to help with your steps, your lateral movement, and your linear movement. I'm gonna get a quick drink. Branch chain amino acids. Champ, don't mess around. All right. Woo! Now we're gonna get a little more explosive. We don't need this anymore. We put that aside. So what we're gonna do is being able to move laterally quicker, all right? So we're gonna work on a, uh, we're doing skaters, which is gonna help. So a skater, over, land on one leg, over, land on one leg, over. You move your hands, so you explode, catch with your core and your hip. Explode, core and hip, core and hip, core and hip. Similar to if I was doing my one, two, and I explode over, boom, I catch it here, then I can fire back, okay? So these sorts of movements, when you understand how they transfer into your punches, it's gonna help you become a better puncher because you're gonna be in a better position, have better balance. All right, so don't just do a skater like you're, you know, skipping along. No, 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 we're actually working on becoming better. Oh, I punch it. Explode, stop. Your core has to be what accelerates you and decelerates you, okay? So those are our skaters. So we're gonna do a skater with a vertical uh, a vertical jump. All right, so we're gonna skate over, both feet down, up. All right, skate over, both feet down, vertical jump. Being able to move, stop, punch right away, okay? Training your body, accelerate, decelerate, accelerate, on demand, all right? These are things that you gotta teach your body to do. All right, so let's just do that one for a minute. So we're gonna skate over, down, up, over, up. up. 
keep going, don't stop. All right, so one of the things that you wanna make sure you're doing when you're doing that, that uh, vertical jump is you wanna extend through your ankles, knees, and hips. You got three joints in the lower body. You wanna use all three of them, all right? That's when you get maximum power, extend. So my ankle's gonna extend, my knee, my hip, boom. Get that explosion, just like if you're punching. Ankle, knee, hip, snap, snap. All right, so let's keep on going. We got about 20 seconds. Good, all right. Notice the landings were nice and soft. It's because I'm using my hips and my core to cushion everything, right? So very similar to again when we're boxing. Now, last one here, you add in some punches. Okay, so we're gonna go lateral, explode, punch. How many punches was that that I threw? I'm gonna do it again. You guys can't put them in there. Put it in the chat, let me know how many they were. All right, so it was uh, skate, here. See if you can beat that number. I'm gonna count them, let me see. Woo! Fire! Quick hands, ha! Huh. Quick feet, ha! Huh. Reactive core. All right, that's required. Oh, stop. Let me see if I get a number in there. How many was that? How many punches was that? Uh, no one's giving me a number yet. Come on, Rainford, tell me how many punches that was. What's wrong with you, man? Mary Jane. Hey, it's Pastor Heidi. Hello, Pastor. Have a blessed day. All right. So, next up, pendulum. All right, this what allows our boxers to get in, get back out. Hit, then don't get hit. That's the art of boxing. So we're gonna go in, come back out. Both feet in, both feet out. Looks like this. Weight centered. Notice my feet are traveling forward and traveling back. Should be able to do this. Three minutes, three rounds, easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna, let's do one round. We're gonna start at the minute of, um, minute of pendulum and then I'll add in some punches, okay? So, ready, pendulum, three, two, one, and go. Forward and back. Make it nice and easy, nice and fluid. Keep those hands up, in position. All right, working those shoulders. Elbows staying in. My elbows aren't here, they're tucked in. Pushing off those big toes. Add some head movement if you want. Change the frequency or the cadence. Pick it up. Slow it down. Pick it up. Slow it down. Five more seconds. Let's add the jab. As you go forward, your feet are already doing the work. So you're creating the power, you are then transferring the power, and then you're delivering with your arms. All right, so create, transfer through your core, deliver with your arms. Forward and back, add the jab. When you use this system of punching, you should never get arm fatigued because your arms aren't doing anything but delivering the power that you've created with your legs. So that, you know what that means? It means we gotta condition our legs. We get, get these things strong, get them, build up the endurance. This is it, right here, the engine. A little shout out to the, uh, to the ladies here. This is why female boxers can also punch hard, is because if they're using their legs, which they can match men in pretty much pretty close, then they're able to create that energy and power down here and create the power that transfers through their arms, all right? 
And for you guys who are skipping leg day, cut it out. Cut it out. You gotta do leg day, man. All right, let's add that jab. Let's add the two, two. Oh yeah, that was a little more challenging, isn't it? You gotta keep that core engaged where you end up off balance. All right, extend, 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 extend. Just keep that spacing of the feet. Keep that excellent balance. Okay, let's go to a one, back, one, two. One, step back, one, two. Good, get that rhythm. Boxing is all about rhythm. You gotta have rhythm with the feet, the hands, and the head. If you have a problem with rhythm, put on some salsa music, start dancing, some uh, merengue, you know? You know what I'm saying? That was kind of like uh, Tony Montoya. <laughs> I like Tony. Put on some Caribbean music, some Calypso, some Soca. You know what I'm talking about, Rome. Is Rome's on there? Yeah, Rome's. One, step back, one, two. We got 10 seconds. And that's time. All right, get yourself a drink. Okay, so just gonna review those for you. For those who are taking notes, uh, especially for a competitive boxer, or you just wanna get better at your skills. So if you're doing boxing for fitness, the more muscles you work, the better work that you're gonna get. The more calories you're gonna be burn, and the more enjoyable it's gonna become. I mean, I love it when competitive boxers walk into the gym and they see a fitness boxer and they're like, what weight does that person compete at? Like, they don't compete. They just do it for fun, all right, for a lifestyle. So, again, these basics, do them slow, learn them, feel the balance, feel the breathing, feel the body mechanics, and then increase the speed. Okay, so we had, again, our stepping side to side, mastering that step, forward and backwards, Weight is centered, core is engaged, chest is high. Feel that power. Okay, then we went to our skaters, which was basically an explosive sidestep, all right? So if I did it in my stance, I'd be here, I'd explode over, catch myself. You notice how I catch myself? And what am I doing? I'm ready to fire back over here. All right, so if you don't catch yourself, you end up off balance, and it's, dead. it's a dead movement. We want every movement to be alive. We want to transition to the next punch, all right? That's what movements do. They propel you, they, they allow you to accelerate your punches, okay? So you're making the move anyways, you might as well make it a good one. So we had um, our explosive step side to side, and then last, we had our pendulum. We need to get in, score our point, and then get back out, all right? Hit, don't get hit, is the art of boxing. It helps us pre preserve the money maker. Nobody wants to end up getting smashed in the face and you know, nose is busted and the eyes broken and all that nonsense. Man, we do this, we wanna be fit, have fun, and look good. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, at this point, I am going to grab the camera. We're gonna go over to Dynamite and she's gonna take you guys through a hit workout. I think we're gonna be mostly focusing on the legs. What are we focusing on? Uh, a little bit of footwork, a little bit of explosiveness, and just an all-over body workout. Oh, you're, yeah. get, you're getting it all today. All right, beautiful. I'm glad you tuned in. You will not be disappointed. Okay. If you're not sweating, send me a picture of your face if you're not sweating. Look at that. Look at that. I don't even, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Woo! Holy. <laughs> All right. All right. We good? We good? Okay. 
Uh, first round of hit that we're going to do, we're going to be going between a fancy footwork combination as well as some squat jumps. So I'm going to get the timer started. Once it starts, we're going to start with our feet. So you're just going to go out, out, in, in, nice and quick, as fast as you can for a nice quick shuffle. And then we're going to be doing our squat jumps. The rule of squat jump always is a full squat. This is not a squat jump. You gotta have full squats, full explosiveness. All right, get that timer started. Second break. Get ready for some squat jumps. Should feel the heart rate going a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, ready? And go. Get nice and explosive on those squat jumps. Like Sue was talking about, our hips stay nice and soft. So we have that soft landing, but we're squeezing at the top. Pushing our butt forward. Just bounce it. Keep your breathing nice and controlled. Hopefully starting to get a bit of a sweat going here. Alright, 15 second break. Woo! Woo! 15 second break! <laughs> Alright. My squat jumps coming at ya. Watching me to go through what I usually put them through. Got to walk the top.
Move those feet nice and quick. Good 
up, guys. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Remember, breathing is very important, especially in the cardio. Keep breathing through. I know you guys are killing it at home. Pushing yourselves. 15 second break. We'll go back to our shoulder taps. We are halfway through this round. Another drink of water. You can ignore that next bell. Whew. All right, our final one that we're going to do is we're going to be adding in a little bit of footwork, a little bit of condi conditioning. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do two shuffles over for feet, two shuffles over. Back and forth, and then just the classic setup. Everybody knows the classic setup. You can add it two punches at the top, though. Since we're in a boxing gym, may as well have some fun with it.
15 second break. I'll do some sit ups. Second break. A little back and throw sit ups. We are halfway through this round. And then that's it. This is our final round. Alright, back to our punches at the top. Because really, if you can add punches into an exercise, why wouldn't you add punches into that exercise? the thing we most like to do suckers. We are almost here. Keep working, keep working. Keep going, almost there. That is time. Thank you for hanging out with me, everyone. I'm doing a 
fun little head workout. Stay home, enjoy your families, enjoy your time working out with us at home. I can shut up. I'm good. Oh, okay, sorry. Can you say his face? Give my space, girl. Give my space. Give my space. All right. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's workout. Again, we are going to be doing this all week uh, at 2 p.m. For the boxing, I want it to be progressive. So we're going to keep on building. So tomorrow is punching. All right, so we're going to build on top of what we did today. I will review a little bit. So, you know, if, if you didn't join in today, you'll have an opportunity tomorrow to do a quick review. And then we're going to build on top of the footwork and add in the punches. And every day we're going to add in some more, uh, more boxing skills, technique, drills, uh, things to keep you... Uh, getting better, evolving, and uh, just having fun. All right, so again, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow right here at Civic.